In Sanatan Dharma, it is believed that immersion of the dead person's ashes after Antam Sanskar means last rites of funeral in the Ganga River for the peace of the soul after death is considered the best. Ganga is considered as a holy river. It came from heaven to earth. By immersing ashes in Ganga, we assure rebirth of the deceased one. As it provides mukti from the sense of this birth, it is believed that by immersing ashes in Ganga, the person can be reborn and get rid of the past sins. But why does the water of Ganga river remain pure and holy even after immersing innumerable quantities of ashes and bones? After all, why do the bones or asthi and ashes thrown in the Ganga river disappear after some time as compared to other rivers? Is there any scientific or religious reason behind this? Hindu believes that a living organism on this planet is made up of panchtattva that are air, soil, sky, fire and water. And in the whole procedure after death, everything is returned back to the nature. Burning of body returns fire, smoke goes back to air, ash gets mixed with soil, soul goes to the sky and the collected ash is returned to the water. This is done to give peace to the dead soul. In Sanatan Dharma, it is believed that ashes, bones or asthi of dead bodies immersed in the Ganga river go straight to heaven at the feet of Sri Hari, means Bhagwan Vishnu, Hari meaning the one who takes away all the sins. The person whose end time comes near the Ganga gets salvation after death. Due to these beliefs, the fate of Hindus towards Ganga is very high. Scientific point of view, para, mercury is present in the water of the Ganga due to which calcium and phosphorus in the bones or asthi dissolve in water, which is a nutritious diet for aquatic ecosystem. Sulfur is present in bones or asthi which combines with mercury to form parat or mercury. Moreover, sulfur and mercury both together form mercury sulfide salt. The rest of the calcium left in the bones or asti works to keep the water clean. From the religious point of view, parat or mercury is the symbol of Lord Shiva and Ganda or sulfur as the symbol Shakti. From the religious point of view, parat or mercury is the symbol of Lord Shiva and Gandak or sulfur is the symbol of Shakti. All living beings ultimately merge into Shiv and Shakti. However, the Ganga river is not the only water body in which ashes are immersed. In South India, people immerse it in the river Kaveri. Elsewhere in India, people immerse the ashes in sea and other rivers. That is all for today. If you like the video and to see more interesting videos in future, please hit like button and subscribe to our channel and hit bell icon and share the video with your friends. Stay healthy, stay fit, God bless you.